All right, as you can see, I have laid the road bed. It's glued down, it's ready to go. It's been sanded, cleaned up. And I have this nice little bit of a layout. It's not perfect. I like the fact that it's got a bit of a weird little curve over here because you know the railroad isn't supposed to be a perfect straight line everywhere but i wanted to be able to have a little left and right turns even if it's just a subtle turn it's there i also wanted to make sure these turns aren't just curved pieces so i've got a couple of short straight uh you know inch and a half one inch and so it's a little wonky it doesn't line up perfect on the road bed but that'll be fine again it's a glorified test track i'm not trying to make a perfect layout and besides that's what this is this is practice <clears throat> learning where i just take it out of the box throw the pieces on the table and go okay how do i make this work that's the way i've learned how to do about everything i do so we're going to be <clears throat> putting in Atlas Nails with this antique hammer that my aunt's letting me borrow. She said it was built and it was, it was made back in like the 1800s. And so it's a hammer used for <clears throat> doing um, upholstery. So it's for little tack nails, which, you know, track nails are basically the same thing. Uh, my hammer that I have is, yeah, I don't think it's going to work for what I need to do. So, I asked my aunt, she's going to let me borrow this hammer. I have to ensure that it's returned to her. She was very, uh, adamant about that. Understandably so. This is a family heirloom. But I'm going to get this hammer down and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, and we're back with more progress. Let's see if I can get in here close enough. Get the, there you go. You can see a couple nail there. Right there. Right there. And I got the whole curve all the way around. So I'm going to take a break, go take care of some errands, and then uh, I'll get back to working on the railroad. Yeah. Updates as they go. We're probably going to just make clip after clip till it's all done, and then I'll put it together as one big video. So I'll see you in the next bit. And we're back with the next part. <clears throat> Update. Which is all going to be all in one video lump because I don't think there's a whole lot to add here other than I have nailed just about every spot that has a spot for a nail let's see here right there back there all the way around and everything rolls smoothly around the layout <clears throat> as I've been testing with these cars back here oh something's off there it is go oh, with my horrendous camera skills but even the long body car makes it through except if I have uh, 12 and 11 with it and then for some reason one of the wheels keep derailing in that in that back curve right here <clears throat> so we won't be using too many of the uh, 50 footers throughout the uh, use of the glorified test track so this is it for now <laughs> 
It literally just goes in an oval. And it's not a particularly good oval, intentionally so, but it's what I wanted. So, uh, well, here's the cool thing. I've got the layout tacked down, everything's good. And then next thing you know, bam, it's folded up against the wall. So, <clears throat> it's got hinges just to help kind of straighten it. Not that it does a really good job at straightening it, but it's kind of crooked. But it hinges up against the wall. You got that little latch to pin it into place. At one point I was going to use chain or string or something, but that didn't didn't work out so don't know what I'm gonna do with those <clears throat> um, all the wiring will be down on the bottom side here I'm thinking about <clears throat> uh, adding some plywood here or not plywood but you know a board on the ends just to, just to help kind of stabilize the wood a little bit I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Eventually I'd like to have a pair of legs so when it swings down I don't have to have this table underneath. But for now the table underneath works. <clears throat> but this is the goal. To have it where I can use the track and then when I'm done fold it up against the wall and bada bing bada boom we're, we're, we're out of the way. And then I can use my table here and use it for space for other projects and whatnot. As you can see the sun's come out. But so here we are. We're uh, able to just hit that latch. And then this just folds down. I gotta scoot the table out a little bit so it sits right, but bam, back down. It's like a hideaway bed, but it's a train track. Hmm, that gives me ideas for something in the future, maybe. Anyways, that's it for now. If I had like a bigger garage, I'd mount it against, I wouldn't have it a fold up thing, I'd actually have it mounted. And just have it oval back in on itself and then the track come along the back wall so that way I could push it back and have a little bit more space but this will do for now I'd like to upgrade but it's just not in the books for the moment so yeah I'm gonna leave it here and then yeah the next step is I guess solder all the rail joints together right there and whatnot all the way around and then I can look into doing the wiring so I'll drill some holes through and then on the bottom side put the the wire around and then we should be good to go almost done with my glorified test track see you on the next video later